I'm Nadia Gut Biasini, founder and organizer of the international guitar competition Maurizio Biasini. We are now leaving Basel and flying off to San Francisco. Eccoci a San Francisco, benvenuti! Siamo qui per portare in memoria a Maurizio Biasini, mio babbo e alla sua passione per la chitarra classica. Beh, andiamo a vedere come sono messi questi ragazzi. It is a great pleasure to welcome all of you here this evening. My name is David Stahl, I'm president of the Conservatory of Music. Uh, it is indeed a distinct honor for us to bring this competition uh, to this school. Uh, we have, as I think all of you know as devotees, a magnificent classical guitar program here. It truly is one of the great standouts in the world, but a chance to bring such exceptional talent and exceptional artists and faculty, not to mention competitors, to San Francisco for this competition. Je suis très heureux de participer à ce concours. C'est la première fois pour moi que je participe à un concours international. For me, competing, it's it's not about winning the prize or getting the cash or guitar. It's really about getting together a group of guitarists, a group of musicians who share their passion. We can learn a lot from each other's performances and really just about sharing music. I think I learned more almost as a person than as a guitarist in a way. I, I think you, well, of course, dedication, kind of um, commitment, uh, there are always kind of trials um, and some apprehension while you're getting close to competition. Is it prepared? What have I done? Will I do well? But it really strengthens you, I think, as a person. Um, each experience performing also adds to your character, I think. And, and the music, I think, also makes you a better person. I do. this kind of exchange of energy, um, a really lovely atmosphere, and I felt like I was communicating, um, which is just, it creates a very special moment, so that's, that's all that's important for me, really. Hi, my name is Andrea. I come from Italy, from Varese. Per me la chitarra è tanto nella mia vita, è un bisogno di... In, incarna un bisogno di esprimermi. Mi piace anche molto il fatto di appunto potermi, potermi esprimere, ma soprattutto poter esprimere il pensiero di persone che hanno scritto per questo strumento. E oltretutto mi piace molto anche pensare di avere una funzione anche tra virgolette sociale, nel senso che a me piace tantissimo suonare, piace tantissimo insegnare la chitarra, piace tantissimo parlare di chitarra e, e quindi è un, è un modo di vita proprio. Buona parte dei pezzi che mi sono nel repertorio li ho ascoltati per la prima volta in concorso fatti da altri, ho detto bello, mi piacerebbe suonarlo. E poi succede questa cosa strana, una piccola magia che non si capisce ne ho parlato anche con altri e non si capisce bene cosa succede quando tu suoni un pezzo in concorso sotto pressione o comunque durante una gara, durante una situazione molto importante quel pezzo, la tua esecuzione di quel pezzo cresce tantissimo in quel momento essere musicista per me è un modo di vivere, un modo di vedere la vita un modo di affrontarla anche perché comunque la vita la si affronta ed è proprio un modo di fare tutto. Je m'appelle Vincent Capes, je fais de la guitare parce que, bah, tout simplement parce que j'aime ça. 
Euh, et je suis à San Francisco pour euh, découvrir du pays. Euh, vraiment enrichissante. Euh, L'organisation est super ici. Après, au niveau du jeu, bah, c'est vraiment sympa d'avoir du public, de ne pas avoir cet esprit compétition. Euh, vraiment condensé, donc on a du public, c'est assez porteur comme compétition et j'ai beaucoup aimé l'expérience. perform uh, it's always you know a very difficult task to focus on your actual on your inner senses on your inner emotionality because it's still a competition when people listen to you like to a competitor and they pretty much try to find out if you're right or wrong in some terms so it's a very difficult event you know to perform under pressure gave me his old guitar he got in Spain um, just before he died and I had to continue his legacy um, by playing the guitar. Um, you can't enter a competition just uh, hoping to win because then if you don't win then you get nothing out of it. I came to this competition to compete and also to meet people and um, just have a good time. I started playing guitar when I was about 12 years old. Actually, I had I had no interest in music. I was I was into the sciences and, and maths for most of my life, as well as, as athletics. But my brother wanted to play guitar. Um, but just to be fair, my, my parents bought both of us guitars and enrolled both of us in lessons. And I think within a month, my brother had quit, and and I had had fallen in love and and stuck with it. I have no idea why I play music. I, I it just it just grabbed me, uh, especially when I was I was going to university. I I again, as I said, I was I was into maths and sciences. I was registered in, in engineering, and I I don't know why. I, I woke up one day. I I must have had a dream or something. I learned the guitar basically. I, I won't say it saved my life, but it certainly changed it or, or put it onto a path that I, I couldn't imagine what my life would be like if I, if I wasn't a musician. So I, I, I am completely indebted and I owe everything that I know and that I experienced to the guitar. I don't necessarily have any expectations, I just hope to play the best uh, and to provide for a nice musical experience and we'll see what happens. Fue para mí muy emocional, fue una sala muy bonita con un público muy cálido y se generó una atmósfera realmente de concierto y bueno, fue una presentación con mucha entrega para mí. Lo disfruté mucho. Intensa. Intensa. Fue intensa porque había que tocar eh, bastante minutos de, de una, digamos. O sea, como tú llegas acá al escenario y tienes que tocar 30 minutos y es difícil mantener la concentración sin haber conocido el escenario. Pero esta sala suena súper bien, así que como que inspira y, y uno en cierto momento al estar tocando te, te olvidas de la instancia y te relaja y hace música. Así que se...
Why we created this competition? We created it because after Maritza's passing, which was very dramatic actually, a lot of his friends, a lot of his friends' guitarists played concerts and recitals and out of this grew the idea of a competition. Questa notte, prima del, di questo concerto, mi sono svegliato e purtroppo ero diciamo, un po' indifeso perché mi ero appena svegliato durante la notte con questo jet lag che non c'era e veramente ho avuto una crisi di pianto perché ho pensato siamo qua perché lui non c'è e, e ho pensato che era meglio il contrario. The motto of our competition is meet, exchange, perform and learn. Questi incontri sono molto interessanti perché mostrano la ricchezza di un bacino di giovani musicisti che si avventurano in questa, in questa carriera musicale con grande entusiasmo e grandi aspettative. Il corso si svolge in varie città del mondo, la prima edizione è stata a Bologna, la seconda a Basilea, in Svizzera e oggi siamo qua a San Francisco. Il concorso di Latini è, è di fatto uno dei concorsi più importanti al mondo, sicuramente forse eh, se guardiamo il programma eh, che, che presenta ogni edizione è eh, sicuramente quello più impegnativo. It is because of the peace that uh, the three first variations are searching for a thing. And this thing just naturalized in the third uh, variation. So this thing is there. And uh, actually, the piece is divided in two big sections. The first one is a search for a variation. The final variation is sort of tonal. It's tonal. But the second part of the, the piece is completely chromatic. So if you hear the same, the same melody over and over, entirely you hear the third variation and the seventh variation. Uh, the ones in the middle, they are struggling. The melody, yes. Yeah. It's a pleasure to write. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to write a challenging piece like this. This is a kind of roving family of colleagues and friends of Maurizio Biasini. And so when Nadia asked us to perhaps do a concert and honor the heritage of their families, which is Swiss and Italian.
it's always special, you know, to meet friends at a competition because the older we get, the closer to the deadline of a competition age, and uh, we just don't get to see each other that that often. So I'm just taking my time and having my pleasure from seeing people. Mm, it's great. I've, uh, I've met new people, and it's my first time meeting Marco and Clement. Uh, and uh, yeah, everyone's really nice. Uh, I don't actually really get a particularly competitive vibe from anyone. Like, really, I think everyone just wants to have fun, play their best. Yeah, it's not bad. For me, I was happy to see that all the participants had a certain bienveillance, in fact, on the ones towards the others. Et je suis très heureux aussi de pouvoir, de pouvoir de manière partager ce genre de moments avec les deux autres finalistes. Ça fait plaisir. collaborating with the orchestra rather than being simply a soloist that is outside of the orchestra. life. Um, a life is something you lead and you grow in and I hope that everybody who participated will see the result. I wish for it to continue. I hope it continues to travel. I hope that more and more young people get involved in uh, participating in it. Well, the best experience is always is uh, to come together and to exchange ideas, to encourage young musicians and uh, to fight for good results. My favorite player was the second one, which is Marco Topci. Listening to the same piece with different players, it's so interesting how they interpret everything differently. Well, uh, they were, all the three of them, they were awesome. <laughs>